Hi, welcome to another video. So, Gemini 2 has been launched just yesterday. The model is performing pretty amazingly. I mean, it has so much stuff. It outperforms Gemini 1.5 Pro 2, and it supports real-time multimodal stuff, like it can look at videos and everything. It can natively generate audio and images as well, which is pretty mind-blowing to be honest. I mean, if you have seen my last video, then you'll see that it performs extremely well. It is much better than Claude 3.5 Haiku and on par with Sonnet, while being free to use via Google AI Studio. You can also use it with the API for free as well, with very generous rate limits. Technically, even if you want to pay, you can't do that because currently pricing is not sorted out and it is experimental. So, you can only use it for free, which is pretty cool to see. Anyway, I have talked about some of the other stuff in my previous video, so you can check that out for more details on it. But today's video is about how you can use the Gemini 2.0 model with Ader and Klein, and how you can do AI coding with it for fully free and get amazing results with it, similar to Sonnet, for literally free. First, let me tell you the exact limits on Gemini 2.0 Flash. So, you'll get 10 requests per minute, along with 4 million max tokens per minute, and 1,500 requests per day for fully free, which is pretty great. I don't think that you'll ever go over this limit. Another thing to mention is that Gemini has about a 2 million context window, which is pretty great, to be honest. So, that's super cool as well. Now, let's start with the AI coding setups. So, I'll start with Ader. Ader has recently updated their leaderboards with the new model, and the new model performs pretty well, which is great to see. Although it still doesn't come as close to Sonnet, it's still great. Now, let me tell you how you can set it up with Ader and use it. So, first of all, just go to Google AI Studio. Here, you'll see the models and everything. I have told you in my previous video how you can use it and everything like that. Anyway, here, you'll see the Gemini 2 experimental model. You can send in basic messages here and everything like that. If you use the model via Google AI Studio, then it has no rate limit, and you can use it unlimited times for free. But the API that you get does have a rate limit, which I told you about earlier. Now, you can just click the Get API Key option here and create an API key. Once you have it, just keep it in a safe place, as we'll need it later. Now, once you have that, just open up the terminal. First of all, make sure that you update it, or if you're new, then you can also install it. You can do that with this command. If you don't have Ader, then this will get it installed, or if you have it, then the same command will get it updated. Next, you'll need to export the Gemini API key that you just got from Google AI Studio like this. You'll need to do it every time you open the terminal, but you can also create an environment file and just put in the API keys there, and it will start with those API keys every time. So, that's super cool. Once that's done, we can start Ader with the model flag and Gemini Flash 2.0 experimental like this, and you'll see that it will get started here. If you don't want to type in the big model name every time, then you can just add another Ader model variable to your ENV file and put in the Gemini 2.0 Flash model there. Once you have done that, you can just run Ader, and it will automatically pick up the default Gemini 2.0 Flash model. I have this basic Expo app here. I'm going to ask it to make a water tracker app for me, as it is one of the staple questions because I have seen a bunch of generations for the same prompt. Let's see how well it performs. One thing that's great about Gemini Flash is that it's super fast. I mean, you don't get the slow response that you get with Claude or others. 
it's super fast. So, that's good. Okay, here's the code, and you can just approve the code and everything. Once that's done, you can just run it. Now here's the generation. It looks pretty good, and it's one of the good generations that I have seen. This is just a demo that I'm trying. I have tried it with some other stuff on more complex things, and it's better than 3.5 Haiku in most of the general use cases that I use Ader with. It is much more reliable than the previous Pro and Flash as well. So, this is great for sure, and you can't complain much when things are free. Now, let me show you how you can use it in Klein as well. So, Klein hasn't updated the Gemini model section to account for the new Flash model, which is a bummer for sure. But once it's available, you should be able to select the model here and just use that, which is great. But for now, you can use it via the OpenAI compatible option. So Gemini now also has an OpenAI compatible API. You can just enter the base URL of it like this, and then the API key that you got, and then the Gemini Flash model name like this. Once you have it set up, Klein should also start working. I'm not doing any thorough testing here, so I'll just ask it to make a simple finance tracker app using HTML, CSS, and JS. Okay, it's now doing that. One thing that I have noticed is that the function calling capabilities of this model are extremely great. Previous Gemini models were a hit and a miss at times, but this one is pretty amazing at it. It makes sense that they are actually promoting this model as an agentic model. It also supports a long context window, which is a lifesaver for coding as well. I think Klein and Ader can also take advantage of the new real-time audio and image generation as well. Anyway, it's now done. So, let's run it and see. So, this worked pretty well, and that's how you can use it with Klein as well. I have switched to this model now because it's like 70% of Sonnet for free, which is great for me, and I can always switch between models when I feel like it. This is a great model for sure. Let me know if you guys want a video where I create a full stack app with it. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.